Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, as you can tell from the title, I am going to review my top eight Chanel, top eight Chanel handbags, top eight favorite Chanel handbag. I received, uh, I think, a few DMs about doing my Chanel handbag collection, but I felt like that video would be very long. Instead, I was going to do my top five favorites, and that was difficult because I love all my Chanel handbags. So I went with eight because eight is my favorite number, my top eight favorites. I want to start off with a disclaimer that I am not a Chanel expert, and these are all my personal opinions from owning these bags for well over a decade. My first bag I think I got was in 2011. It's bags that I've had with me for a while. 10 years minimum and I wanted to share with you guys why I got these and whether they were worth it and I'm speaking from my personal experiences with these bags, the fabric, the material. Obviously I am not going to go into the details of the size, the exact dimensions because I think there is a lot of YouTube videos out there already with those kind of details and also uh, not going to discuss prices because when I got my bags they were all a long time ago and the prices in Chanel are significantly higher now. Uh, it's ridiculously expensive, but it is Chanel's policy. They increase the price twice a year, I believe. And I think at one point they had done it three times a year too, if I'm not mistaken. So just gonna discuss the ones I have with me, why I like them and why they are my top eight favorites. So if you're interested, just keep watching. First of all, let me start up with storage. There are a lot of mixed reviews in terms of how to store your Chanel handbags but this is how I store my handbags and it's worked for me. I have an open closet and I don't like to leave my Chanel handbag out like that. This is just for the purpose of this video. I always store them back in the box, original packaging more or less, in the dust bag and in the box. That's how I store my bags and I haven't had any issues with that. Also as you can tell, I usually have a Polaroid photo outside. That tells me exactly what bag is inside. Get a visual of whatever I have and what I want to carry. And I just take out the one I want to take by referencing the photo. The only bag that doesn't have the Polaroid photo would be that white box because that's the box that you get when you shop at Chanel Boutique in Rue Cambon in Paris. That's the original boutique. So any items that you buy there comes in like the white box. And I know exactly what I bought there. I used to have a lot of other designer bags like Fendi, Celine and uh, eventually I sold them all because I wanted only Chanel handbags so I sold all my other designer bags and I just put that money towards my Chanel handbags. The collection of bags I have is I've thought about every purchase. I haven't just made a spontaneous purchase except for one bag. Otherwise I've always thought about what I want to buy. I've done my research and I've had them for over 10 years so means I did get the cost per wear because I wear them every day. In random order, I will start off with the first of my favorites. It's the classic. This is on my top 8 because it was my first Chanel handbag. Uh, I think it was in 2011 or 2012. This was like my gateway to Chanel handbag. I love, love, love it because uh, it was my first so obviously I love it. Also, Cutie had got it for me for our anniversary, so it has sentimental values there too. 2011 means over a decade. It's in great condition because I, for one, take very good care of my bags. I care about them. And generally, I care about all of the things that I own, whether it's a linen shirt from H&M. I tend to take good care of my things because I care about the things that I buy. So... That's why my bags are also in really good conditions is because after I use them, I wipe them with the, like this uh, fabric cloth that comes with each bag. I wipe that off and then I store it back in his original box. I just don't throw my bags around. I'm careful with them. Doesn't mean that I'm overly like precious with the bags. I use them. I use them every day. Uh, I don't leave them for special occasion except for the nude ones. I have some nude Chanel bags that I don't carry all the time because I noticed that some of my lighter bags were getting color transfer and that's when I just stopped carrying the nude ones so much. I only carry them if I'm wearing all white, especially my nude classic flap. I only carry them on special occasions. Lighter shade clothes, that's the only time I carry neutral bags. Otherwise, I carry my Chanel bag everywhere. 
I take them with me in grocery shopping. I take them on the subway. I bought them so I could use them. So I'm careful with them, but that doesn't mean I put them away. I always, always carry them. These are my everyday bags. I actually want to be able to use them and not just store them away. But when I had this one, I didn't carry them all the time. It was my special occasion bag because at that time, this bag was the only one I had. A classic wallet in a chain with cold hardware and caviar leather. I prefer caviar leather, but with that said, I do have lambskin too. I know some people prefer lambskin because they like the wear, because the lambskin shows scratches and they like the look of a bag that has wear because it looks like it's been loved. But I prefer my bags. I can love my bags without looking like it's been loved, which is why I prefer the caviar because I feel like they're a little more resilient. That's my personal opinion. So this is your classic wallet in a chain. As the name mentions it, it's a wallet with the chain and it has a back pocket. Almost all classic bag has this except for the extra small mini, I believe. Um, zip closure, inner pocket, Berg classic, that burgundy Chanel interior, pocket compartments, card holder, the secret pocket here. This is a really, really nice everyday bag, nighttime bag. You can even carry it as just as a clutch if you put it inside. You can carry it as a crossbody. Um, if you're someone that doesn't need a lot, you can carry it as a day bag. I've carried it in the, as a day bag too. It also fits an iPhone, the large one. There. Easily fits an iPhone. I never stuff too many things in my bag because I feel like it ruins the integrity of the bag's shape. Uh, but otherwise, you know, you can put your iPhone, a lipstick, card holder, keys, a very nice entry bag. So if you're looking for, a, if you're looking to get into the Chanel handbag and are working with the budget, this is a nice bag to start with. I got this a really long time ago, so obviously price at that time was great. I believe these go for almost 3000 now. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on it. I will try to link a website. I think Purse Blog usually has like the current Chanel classic prices. If, if I'm able to find uh, current prices, I will try to link them below. But I know that now Chanel is having a quota for buying classic bags. So you can't just go into the showroom and buy a classic bag like we used to. I think they're going to have like a VIP only boutique. I could be wrong. That's what I read. The boutiques are specific for only Chanel VIP clients that can buy bags there. I don't know how that works. I have bought all, all of my Chanel handbags I bought from the boutique. This is a nice entry bag, Chanel handbag collection. Uh, the second bag, I did both the colors because I couldn't decide on the color, is another mini in the classic. Uh, Chanel Chevron mini in black with gold hardware. And I also have the burgundy in gold hardware. When I got these bags, this bag, I think it was in 2014. Yeah, I think it's 2014. The mini bags were all the rage. They were difficult to find too. The mini bags had like, was a big trend and everybody wanted to get on the mini bag trend. It was difficult to find this bag. So when my sales associate called me with these, I obviously got it. At that time when I got this bag, I was concerned that I am getting a trendy bag and I wouldn't enjoy it like two years later. But fast forward to 10 years later and I'm still enjoying them. I carry them all the time, although it's a mini. I'm five foot one. I'm very petite, so these bags don't look very tiny on me. I carry them day and night. They come with the gold chain. Interiors, let me show you the inside. So it's hollow on the inside. Back pocket closure. Zip enclosure and a slot for cards. Card holder fits inside. The big, my big iPhone fits in there too. Again, I never stuff too many things in my bag because it's heavy and it ruins the shape of your bag. And also the reason I have a mini bag is because I don't want to carry a lot. So this uh, the bag can be carried cross body like this. Or the one error that I made with this bag that I would recommend you not do is when I first got this bag and I looked at some reviews and the girl said that you could make this bag short by just putting the strap around the top handle, top flap, like you know, crisscross it on the top flap like that. 
so that the strap gets shorter like this and you can carry it or the other option was to just take one side like this way and crisscross it around the flap and then carry it as a shorter bag like this or you could increase the chain like that and carry it shorter cross body this was the worst advice I received because when you do this over time your bag loses its shape because there's a lot of stuff inside here and it weighs it down and it lifts the corner of your bags and that's what happened with my bag both the side got lifted figured this was a better way to do it a little too late but nonetheless that's what I do now so you leave the chain as is long like this you take it from the interior like so this one here and this one and I just take a ribbon this is the wrapping paper that the wrapping ribbon that Chanel the Chanel box has come in and I just take both this side and tie it up like this so once I tie it on the inside like that then the strap gets shorter but there's no damage on either side so so that's a tip that I would recommend also you know with the mm, with the colored Chanel bags my only issue with that is I wear a lot of blue denim and darker clothing so there is a color transfer you can see it was also on the straps of the bag you can't take it off the color transfer doesn't come off so that's something that bothers me so if I do wear these kind of bags the colored bags I try to always wear it with neutral clothing so that the color doesn't transfer uh, and this is the other one in lambskin both the lambskin honestly in the mini has worn really well for me uh, there is light scratches but barely anything otherwise they're in really good condition two are the bags that I reach for the most usually I reach for those, these two a lot because they work in the daytime and also works at night especially if I'm going somewhere day and I need to transition to nighttime this works as well if you're able to get your hands on a mini when I got them I think I only paid like three thousand dollars for these and I believe they're almost 4400 right now I'm not sure don't quote me on it but I believe that's about like the price point now the minis go for and they even had a square mini at that time which I didn't like because I felt like the square shape was a little harder to work with in terms of putting stuff inside and I prefer the shape of the classic longer one. I know big bags are all the rage and in trend right now. I love the minis, they work for me. They may not be in trend. They work with my existing wardrobe, they also work with my new wardrobe. So honestly, I think if you like the mini, go for it. If you're petite, it looks good. If you're not petite and you like a mini bag to go for it. So can't complain. I have it in lambskin work quite well and uh, the next bag that I love so so much is also a mini it's the Chanel classic in an extra small mini I believe these are discontinued now but the minis don't come with a back pocket this is in the caviar leather again but it has a subtle sheen to it and the gold hardware is more like an antique gold hardware I love this bag so much I carry this for mostly night time it's tiny it's the extra small but because again I'm petite it looks fine on me I always carry this on like weddings night out events even daytime if I don't want to carry a lot of things around and also when I'm going on vacation I don't want to carry so many bags but this is one I always throw in because it's small enough for me to just put in my bag and then if I want to go for a night event I can just carry this uh, iPhone doesn't fit in this one and that doesn't bother me but it has a compartment in here and another mini compartment and lipstick card holder keys fit in and I take it as a crossbody or as a shoulder bag I just again tie that ribbon inside and make the strap shorter so this was another one of my top eight favorites because the cost per wear I use it so much I've also had this for at least five or six years. I don't remember when I got this one. And at that time, again, I thought this might be something that was like, I wasn't going to get a lot of wear out, but I ended up carrying this a lot and I still carry them to date. I think I even took this to India. So 
the minis for me always work. So next up is uh, the Chanel Coco Handle. This one is making my top 8 because I got this at Paris in the original Chanel Boutique in Rue Cambon. So this is why I find this very special. I have the Coco Handle in two different sizes. The Nude and the Mini. This was my original purchase. I think when it first came out, it came out in this size and a smaller size. It was part of their seasonal like you know how Chanel has a seasonal collection, it was part of that collection but I think it did so well that it is now part of like their classic classic line and I know that the mini also does quite well so obviously the medium one fits a lot more, I have it in nude but the reason I'm putting this on my top 8 is because of where I got it this is the one that came in that white, white box uh, has a ha handle on top and it's short enough for me to carry it as a shoulder or crossbody. Has that pocket at the back. Has an interior pocket like this and a, a smaller pocket at the back. Fits my iPhone, the large one inside, easily. Wallet, lipstick, nice daytime bag or a nighttime bag again, this one. A lot of things to carry, I carry the medium because it fits a lot more in that. Caviar leather, black with gold hardware. I get a lot of compliments on this bag, this and another boy bag. Everyone seems to love this. So cute. Works with jeans, dress. Honestly, all the Chanel handbags with works with everything. For me, it does. Office wear, casual, dresses. You can just throw on a jeans and t-shirt and carry a cute Chanel handbag and it just ties your outfit in. Next up is this Chanel small boy bag and like this green leather it's like a leafy green has a subtle sheen almost to it with like this iridescent kind of hardware like even the chain has iridescent this is the only chanel handbag that was a spontaneous purchase for me so i went to pick up my bag at the chanel boutique i had gone to pick up one of my bags and when i walked into the chanel boutique i saw this and I instantly fell in love with it and I don't do spontaneous purchases like this these are expensive purchases for me and I'm glad I bought it because now again they're super expensive I'm sorry guys my battery just died so anyways back to this bag so this was the only Chanel only bag that I was did like a spontaneous purchase and honestly I love it so much I have another boy bag and it's in the size medium uh, if you Compare it to the current sizes, it's I guess uh, close to a medium large. Uh, when I first bought it, uh, I think it was in 2014. I don't remember. 2014, I think that was when the first Chanel handbag, uh, when the first boy bag came out. I don't remember the exact date, but uh, when it first came out, it was part of the seasonal collection, and uh, they had only two sizes, like a medium or considered like a large and a small size in black with gold antique gold hardware and i had got like the medium size in lambskin um, at that time when i got it it was like the most talked about bag it was edgy it was not like your typical chanel classic bags and i got the medium because it fit a lot more medium large in the black and gold i do carry that a lot it's more of like an antique gold I got that in lambskin and for some reason that bag hasn't worn as well Eventually, the boy bags became like a staple collection of Chanel's like classic. It made like the Chanel classic lines. But it, initially when it came out, it actually came out as a seasonal piece. And now, you, obviously, boy bag comes out every year in different shades and colors. And um, I, when I got this bag, I thought maybe did I get a bag? Because it's a little more like, you know, almost looks like... A little unique the green shade and I thought would it be a bag that I would get a lot of wear out but honestly the shade of green is so nice and this bag although it has like this chrome, chrome kind of effect uh, hardware it's also one of cuties favorite and I wear this bag a lot anytime I want to add something special to my outfit I carry this bag and although it's a shade of green it literally also works with everything so it is a unicorn bag but it's a beautiful unicorn that works with everything and it's not like it's like a sequin rainbow polka dot bag that you know it would be like something i would get tired of 
this obviously turned out to be an amazing purchase i love it okay, if i would have picked the boy small or the medium since i own them both i would go for the, the small i feel like the boy when it's small size looks more cool and edgy as opposed to the big one although the big one does fit a lot of has a lot more room inside i still prefer the small one and if i ever add another bag i would in the boy i would obviously add it in this size at least that's what i think but i never say never because you change your mind sometimes another bag that i got part of the seasonal line is the chanel surf tote this i have three chanel travel bags and i use this one the most i also use the gst but i like this surf tote a lot too because it has a lot of compartments here here at the back and there's in the interior two zip closures on either side of the pockets also has like this keychain holder comes with an additional strap it's deep enough if i want to extend it it has button closures so this is an amazing travel bag because of all the slots and how deep it is structured so i can you know put my travel documents uh, passport boarding pass like wallet goes inside the zipper and then this the interior is deep enough for me to throw in all my other stuff in so this is an amazing amazing travel bag also it's a seasonal piece so i don't know if you will be able to find it in the showroom right now but sometimes chanel does tend to bring back seasonal pieces like every few years so if you ever find this one i'm sure the prices will be better than a classic i would recommend getting it if you're looking for a bigger bag for work travel this is amazing i'm sure you can find this in the second hand market for a better price than what i got it for because uh, generally the seasonal pieces tend to be a better price point too in the second hand is not as expensive as a classic so love this as a travel and i also love the shade of like this blue because it doesn't get dirty and the silver hardware also looks nice it's not very overpowering somehow it works really well with the navy also has like these bottoms so it doesn't scrape your bottom and when i'm traveling with this bag and if i stuff a lot of things inside i generally don't tend to carry it this way because i obviously don't want to break my bag i put it on top of my carry-on that way you know the carry-on is like carrying most of the weight lastly my eighth favorite handbag in random order is the classic chanel flat bag this is in caviar leather, cold hardware, size is jumbo. When I got it a few, few years back, I thought it was so expensive. I think I paid like 5000 and change for it and I thought it was so, so expensive. But now I think they go for almost 9800 I think. Don't quote me on it, but I, I feel like I read that somewhere. 9800 plus tax, so almost doubled in price from when I bought it. I love this one more than the medium because my medium is a nude. I think that's why I don't carry it so much. And it doesn't fit as much the classic medium flat bag as the, the jumbo. The large is, I wanted to get the large but it was so big on my frame that it didn't look good. The jumbo I could carry without it like looking overpowering me or looking too big. The jumbo was a good size for my body frame best best purchase when i got that because obviously now it's ridiculously expensive fits a lot inside but one thing you have to be aware of is with the chanel classic they tend to be heavy i mean when i got it they were heavy i don't know how it is right now and even though the bag is empty they're quite heavy to begin with but a lot fits inside it has like the double flap inside uh, there's a slot for lipstick card pocket in the front secret pocket and obviously the small pouch at the back carried as crossbody on the shoulders i've carried it as a travel bag it literally looks new although i've carried it so so many times the crossbow has been there for me it's a forever piece and prices always increase so if you want to buy it you it's going to be cheaper today than it's going to be next year with the classic bags I can't speak for the quality of the Chanel handbags right now because I know I see some reviews that the new Chanel handbag qualities are not the same as they used to be. So I honestly can't speak for that because I haven't bought a bag in the last three years. Um, I'm actually kind of satisfied with the collection that I have 
and I haven't felt the need to add another one. Like as of right now, I am happy with the collection that I have because I have most of the classics and I also have some of the seasonal pieces that I love. So my review is based on bags that I bought before the last three years and the quality on them are great. I haven't had any issues with them. The only bag that the strap broke was for this Coco handle, this strap broke, and I took it to the Chanel boutique to repair it. Uh, it took a while for the bag to come back to me because I had to repair two bags and COVID happened so I didn't get the bag back for at least two years but I wasn't bothered because COVID it wasn't going really out anywhere. So I think with this bag I had stuffed a lot of things inside and I always carried it with the handle. So this handle broke and they had to send it back to Paris. Oh, they had to wait for the handle to come from Paris I believe. That's why it took a long time for this to be repaired and it was complimentary. I didn't have to pay for the repair. Also my Chanel Grand Shopping Tote, the GST, which was part of their classic line and is discontinued, is no longer part of their classic. I'm so glad I got it when I did. So that one, one of, it comes with a double handle. One of the handle had strap broke. So I took it to the boutique and they, they repaired one of the handles complimentary. But the handle that was not broken, I also had that replaced because that's what the, the sales associate had recommended. She said that it wouldn't match since one of the handles would be new and one would be old. So I had both replaced. I paid for one of them and the other one was done complimentary. I think I paid like under $200. I think it was $180 if I'm not mistaken. And I like that about Chanel that you can take it to the boutique and have it repaired if there's any issues with the bag. So those are the only sort of issue that I've had with my bag. Other than that, I have never had any issues with them. Again, the color transfer, but that is because if it's a bag is lighter and if I'm wearing darker clothes and it's like rubbing on me, on my outfit over time, I think the color transfers. So that's another issue with the lighter colors that I had the color transfer. Yeah, other than that, I haven't had any issues with my bags and eventually if I do hand them down to anyone, I think they would also enjoy it because I enjoy my bags a lot. So those were my top eight favorites in random order. Honestly, it was tough for me to narrow it down because I love all my Chanel bags. I enjoy them a lot, so it was kind of tough to pick them, but those were my top eight favorites based on uh, where I got them from, sentimental values, uh, special pieces, and also travel and everyday wear. I hope that was uh, helpful and I will see you guys in my next video.